Hey guys, Mark from Shopkit here. Now if you want to use Lightroom to edit your photos, there are currently two ways that you can buy it. The first option, and the option that I've chosen, is to subscribe to Lightroom Classic, which is a monthly subscription plan. The second option, and the reason why you're probably watching this video, is to buy Lightroom 6 outright as a standalone product, which is what I did up until about a year ago. If you don't want to watch the rest of this video, and you just want to download Lightroom 6, the standalone product, without those subscription fees, then just click the link below and it will go straight to the Adobe website where you can buy Lightroom 6. Now, Adobe does want you, of course, to subscribe to their Lightroom Classic monthly subscription plan, which is obviously going to make them more money. But if you do want to get Lightroom 6 as the standalone product, just click the link if you want to get there quickly. So obviously buying Lightroom 6 outright as a standalone product works out a lot cheaper in the long run because you're not having to pay monthly subscription fees. I'm a professional photographer and I happily used Lightroom 6 for a couple of years without upgrading to Lightroom Classic. And then finally at the start of 2018 I decided to bite the bullet and I upgraded to the full version of Lightroom Classic and ever since then I've been playing monthly and I'm quite happy to do so. So why did I decide to upgrade to Lightroom Classic from Lightroom 6 and pay monthly? So the first reason that I decided to pay monthly was because I wanted the very latest version of Lightroom and I wanted all those updates, the incremental ones that happen during the year. These updates include, most importantly, much faster performance of Lightroom. This is absolutely essential if you're using Lightroom like me every day professionally or even if you're just using it for personal stuff. It's important that your Lightroom is running most efficiently and as fast as possible. Then there are other features that are perhaps a little more power user features that might not be relevant to you, but things like range masking, boundary warp, and the creative profiles, not to mention a few others. So the second main reason why I decided to upgrade from Lightroom 6, the standalone product, to Lightroom Classic, the monthly subscription product, is the fact that any camera after December 2017 wasn't supported anymore natively within Lightroom by Adobe. So while that is a rather clunky workaround by using Adobe's DNG converter, there isn't a native solution to be able to edit your photos taken with any camera released after December 2017 within Lightroom. So for me personally, I decided to upgrade to a Sony a7 III in early 2018, which meant that I could no longer use Lightroom 6 to edit those photos. Okay, so the point of me making this video was to help you out to find the download link for Lightroom 6, the standalone product, so you can avoid paying those monthly subscription fees. I've left the link down below. If for any reason it's not working anymore, that's probably because Adobe have totally cancelled the Lightroom 6 standalone product because they want to push users up onto Lightroom Classic and obviously force you to pay for their monthly subscription fee. Now, as a professional, I don't think this is a bad thing. I think Lightroom Classic is an excellent product, and I completely support their need to be able to finance these incredible updates that come out throughout the year, making Lightroom Classic the best product that it can be. So if you don't want to pay for a monthly subscription fee to use an image editing application, and I completely understand that, and also if Lightroom 6, the download, is no longer available, then I've written a post on ShopKit that highlights all the imaging apps that you don't have to pay for monthly, so in other words, they're a standalone product. And I've left a link to that below, so I hope that helps you out. Okay, so that's all from me for now. I hope this video helped you out, and don't forget to visit ShopKit.com. Bye!